Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we are at the Birmingham District Brewing Company in downtown Birmingham. Going to try some flights here. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review. We are on location at the Birmingham District Brewing Company in downtown Birmingham, Alabama, and you have reached the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and trying today. Uh, once again, Andy has busted out of the attic and Jay has joined us as well, so we're uh, looking forward to an exciting day of trying some new beer. Um, yeah. yeah, where do we go from here? I don't know. Uh, well, we got t-shirts. We're now getting more professional than unprofessional, so wow. we can't get much more than this. Got to be careful. That's a yeah. thin, fine line. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> it's looking, it's looking so, pretty some, swell. We have some new merch, yeah. uh, so we, we may show you the back uh, later on. Uh, we may not. It may just be left a mystery. Oh, a tease. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teaser. Teaser. So, uh, but be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers to that notification bell. Uh, and also check us out on social media. Uh, just to see what we're up to uh, and you can actually maybe get some teasers about what videos are going to be coming out because currently we have been posting to social media uh, some of our escapades here in the last couple of days uh, just giving a preview of kind of where we're, where we're, where we're at what we're doing um, and uh, before we actually release the videos so with that we've got some great looking beer in front of us I'm really thirsty I'm thirsty so oh, yeah. what are we starting with first well we're going to start with giving a little background information of the Birmingham District Brewing Company. Uh, it was founded in 2018. Um, Birmingham District is a reference to a, what's it, a 10 mile long by 75 mile wide belt of iron ore. Um, this area is known for its mining and its iron industry. And it's, uh, it stretches between these two towns called Springville and Fance. And um, Birmingham just blossomed out of this industry down here, and uh, I think that's how they call it Magic City because yeah. how it just blew up. Yeah. Um, Still City, Magic yeah. City, I have all those. Like you, you can see uh, part of their logo there. It, it, it has the, uh, the old shovel and pickaxe. Yeah. One of their seven owners is an engineer, uh, or excuse me, a geologist, and, uh, and um, so that's why they want to cool. make reference to it. Okay. So. Now, now we can drink. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna start with uh, their their most popular beer that they have here. Uh, you know, most people like drinking. It's, it's called their Birmingham Pilsner. So why don't we uh, we try this one out? Uh, yeah. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. So it's a um, light crisp Pilsner. 4.8 percent, 25 IBUs. Andy, you got a little, yeah. little more deep. It's unfiltered. And it's got um, Pilsner malts and flaked uh, flaked maize. Hops is uh, crisp. Uh, what did I say? Oh, cryo laurel hops. Sorry, you didn't remember that one. Just off the top of your head. Cryo. I haven't had enough to drink yet. <laughs> that cryo threw him for a loop. Yeah, it's my writing, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I think they mentioned that, and you said this, that this is uh, one of their, if not their top seller. Yeah. Um, it, it's a kind of middle of the road, easy drinking beer uh, that you would expect from a Pilsner. Yeah. Um, so very light, light, crisp, yeah. taste, traditional Pilsner. Right. Yeah. Yep. All right, Jay, what do you think on this one? Ah, well, well let's get it started. So. Light, crisp, traditional Pilsner. Um, I'm not a huge Pilsner fan, which is kind of ironic, but uh, I'm more, of, I, I like lagers and versus your Pilsners when you get into the lighter beers. Uh, I'm going to rate this one a six and a half. Andy? Me? I'm, I'm partial to a good Czech style Pilsner, and this is very reminiscent of uh, mm -hmm. some of the ones I've had out of the Czech Republic. It is easy drinking. Um, I like it's a lower alcohol content, so you can have multiples, and, you know, before your taste buds are shot. Oh, it's a year round. I can see why they put this as one of their signature flagship beers yep. for me. Uh, it's something I'd like to have in cans and keep it in my, my beer in my fridge. Um, I'm going 8.0. <laughs> Real good. 
Yeah, as you can see, uh, <laughs> I've got just a little bit left of mine. I think this one is, is great. I uh, really enjoy it. Um, everything these guys said, light, crisp, can, uh, crushable, if, if you will. Uh, eight and a half for me. I wow. think, uh, yeah, I think it really, really hits the spot. I think it's, it's all that that you're going to want in a Pilsner. or so. Um, definitely enjoy this one for sure. So that gives us a, a 7.7 7 on the Birmingham Pilsner. All right, next on the list is the Summer Jam Sour Fruited Berliner Weiss. Uh, comes in at 4.5 percent, five ABU, five IBU, excuse me, um, and looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, mm, that smells definitely. delicious. Where's where's right. the, the smell hand, Andy? It's all man. It smells delicious. Yeah, I don't I don't uh, have Cheers. to. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, mate. I don't have to give hand gestures to say <laughs> the word aroma. Man, pucker up, y'all. That's great. Yep. This Ooh. has got um, pureed red raspberries, blackberries, poisonberries, and black currant. Wow. Um, I was glad talk, to see that tart. they put in uh, black currant. I think if you add that, you're, you're gonna you're gonna have a, a good sour. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we picked this one. Yeah. Great color, great aroma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A great flavor uh, <laughs> so far. So. And immediately you'd like this one. Yeah. I mean, you know, sour. I, I, I'm the sour guy of the group. Sours are my go-to. Uh, I can just look at this one and tell I'm most likely gonna like it. Um, this one again for me. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it. Yeah, eight and a half. I, I think it's it's really really good. Yeah, I mean I I agree with you, Ben. I mean I, I love the combination of berries. I I didn't know it had this much in there, but you can kind of tell from looking at it. Uh, I like like Andy said, you put that that current in there. It makes all the difference in the world too. Um, I, I'll I'll jump in there as well. I'll give this an eight. Yeah, when I think of a sour, I want something this cloudy, you know. It doesn't yeah. have to be this color, but it's great color to it. Um, I want that little, that burst of tart that makes you want to kind of like mm, pucker up there. And then, again, you had the black currants and you got me sold. Um, so when I want a sour, I want something like this. I, I say eight and a half. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think just to wrap it up here, on this one, um, it definitely, it, it, there's a balance to it, right? And you, you get the pucker, you get, you know, that sour and tartness, but it, it, no one piece is that overpowering yeah. to it. Um, it's just a really good balance of, of, of the sour flavors and all the berries that they put in here. Uh, did a really good job with this one. That's going to give us an 8.3 um, for the summer jam uh, here. Um, I'm the buster this time. You are the buster. So. <laughs> Great beer by Birmingham District, though. Yeah, really enjoy it. All right, so we're going to move on. The next one we're going to try here at Birmingham District, we're going to go over and try the Frostbite Cold IPA. It comes in at 6.2% uh, and 49 IBUs. I'm sorry, Ben. So it's going to be intriguing. Uh, Andy, you want to elaborate once we try this bad boy? It smells crisp. Ooh, yes, it does. Yeah. And you can smell some hops in there, Ben. I definitely smell the hops, yes. But I can definitely pick those out. Cheers, mates. Mm, cheers, right. mates. I like how they do the tall pours there. Yeah, they do. Very generous. Now, if y'all are wondering what is a cold IPA, and why is that different from regular IPAs? So, cold IPA uses lager yeast instead of ale yeast. And then they fermented at mm. cold temperatures. So ales are usually fermented at warmer temperatures, lagers at cool, colder temperatures. Um, so, excuse me, it's dry hopped at ale temperatures. Lager yeast, ale temperatures. Um, and then this one particular uses only one type of hops, the sagro hops. And when it's a cold IPA, it's usually more of a crisp taste like a lager, but it's still technically a, a pale ale. So it's almost like a uh, imperial lager in a lot of ways, right? So 
that. But they, yeah, it's still not classified as a logger. He's um, when an IPL. Just, yeah, and it's not even an Imperial IPL because I was looking at the difference between that. There's really technically no IPL type of beer, but some parts of the industry are trying to make mm -hmm. IPLs. But I've heard this it is at a still few places. Just, uh, this yeah. is a cold IPA under the specialty IPA category, and it, it's meant to kind of like highlight the hop and give that crisp, clean taste, but still be that, that IPA standard. So. Well, you want to jump in, Andy? I need to drink more of it to get a good All right. idea. Sorry. I, I'm, I need I'm to shut up. Ben? I'll jump in. I think that, you know, I'm not the IPA guy. I mean, a big <laughs> shock to anybody who's ever seen any video we've done with an IPA. Um, this is very, very crisp. Uh, yep. You definitely have the hop taste. It's not the bitter taste, though, so much. Um, I think this is really, really good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, for, for an IPA for me, I mean, this is an eight for me all day long. I think wow. it's fantastic. That, that's impressive, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go next. Um, you know, I, I do love IPAs. I'm more on the, if you want to say the IPA guy out of the group, Andy's the all around. Um, I actually have been very intrigued by cold IPAs and had several of them, whether you call them, a few places call them actually uh, India Pale Lagers. Um, but this one is very good. Um, I'll rate it eight and a half all day long and love to drive another one of these. What you think, Andy? I really like it. Uh, I think it's just a fun way to, to change up a beer. I, yeah. And this is like my first cold IPA that I've had that I know of. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot out there. I looked it up and, you know, the places that are making them, uh, it's not something that's been within my reach. Uh, it is, it doesn't taste as heavy or it doesn't feel 6.2% to me. It feels like a lighter since it's so crisp and clean. And um, it's a refreshing take on an IPA, you know, because mm -hmm. usually a lot of the IPAs we drink are going to be hazy juicy, which I really like. But this you still get, a, you get to taste the hops. And, you know, I can tell why this is... It's got a lagery taste to it, yeah. and man, it's it's all right. I'm gonna go eight point oh. That is another great beer that they produce. Yep. Yeah, very. I, I think one thing to say, you know, again, as somebody who maybe is not so into IPAs, if you want to kind of, if you don't like IPAs or, or you know, you want to kind of ease into IPAs, something like this. Uh, yeah. And I don't know if this is true for all colds, because again, I think like you, this is my first cold, but. It's, it's very easy to transition into this from something else, uh, from a lager, uh, you know, even from a sour so much. Because uh, it's very similar to the lager. The gateway yeah. IPA. You this, know? I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It really is kind of a gateway IPA. Um, it, it just really is crisp, uh, easy to drink, and, and you don't get overpowered by the typical IPA things. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, there you go. So that's going to give us an 8.2 for the Frostbite Cold IPA uh, here today. All right, last on the list here at Birmingham District Brewing Company is their Irish Stout. It's a seasonal and it is 4.5% ABV and 30 IBUs. It smells great. Let's dive in, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah, it's got a little, tastes a little chocolate to it. Definitely, definitely the chocolate for sure. Got some coffee on the back end. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't pick it up until you said it, but yeah. It's on the back end. The chocolate yeah. hits you in, in the, the, front, the front, in your mouth, and then you got the, yeah. the, in the, back. the coffee yeah. on. Yeah. Very, I think very chocolatey though. Because it's, it's 30 IBUs, which I yeah. would think is a little bit high for like a stout. But. You can't yeah, overpower. If, if we want to include a little uh, anatomy and physiology about you know the taste sensations on the tongue, I can definitely one day <laughs> go into that. I mean, I think that's a whole separate video, probably on your own channel, because yeah. I don't know that I want to be associated with that. But I that's am, just me. I Jay may want to. No, no, I got my barbecue channel, so I'm yeah. good. There we go. Uh, we have the International Hats of the World channel. Yeah, and the Sweet Potato channel. Uh, yeah, me and, me and Andy have the Sweet Potato yeah. channel. Oh, I mean, that, that throwing nails. Oh my gosh. So all the, links, the all the links for those channels will be in the description. If you don't see one, 
That means it probably doesn't exist. So let's talk about the beer again. Yes, yeah, back to the beer. Um, I, I like it. I think it's overall very, very good. What say the two of you? Who wants to go first on rating this one? I mean, I can jump, jump in. Um, I'm not. You guys know I'm not a big style guy, um, especially when it comes to things with coffee. But um, this this is a good offering. It's got a great flavor. Like I said, chocolate on the front, coffee on the back, a little bitter. Um, I'd probably give this a, a six and a half. All right. To me, it feels stronger than four and a half percent. Um, yeah. It's a. It feels a little heavier. Um, it's thick. Yeah. And so I was expecting it to be a little light tasting at that percentage, uh, but I still like the flavor. It's a good flavor, good stout. Yep. It's definitely something I would consider more warm weather, or cool weather type of beer yeah. um, than a, than the summertime. Uh, but I would definitely drink it again, and uh, I would give this one a seven and a half. So it's a good stout. Yeah, uh, to round it out here, I think, um, reiterate what these guys said. It's a good stout. It definitely has some good flavors. Definitely that chocolate flavor probably for me is, is a little more uh, heavy than I would prefer in a stout, but at the same time, it's still a good beer. Uh, mm -hmm. Still still like it. Uh, seven for me. So. That one's an easy one. Cute seven flat. It is. Oh. Yep. So uh, that's a seven. Flat. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm not the math guy here either. Uh, I, I really just show up and drink beer. Um, and look pretty. Um, you do so much. You know, I mean, so. you produce. Fearless leader. Gosh, you know. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, I, you know I, I brought you guys along on this journey and I'm glad that we we're on it together. Pick Same me up time. on the side of the road. I'm yeah. show up, so. uh, but no, that gives us seven flat for the Irish Stout uh, here at the Birmingham District Brewing Company. All right, we definitely appreciate you guys checking us out and joining us here at the Birmingham District Brewing Company today. We've had an awesome flight, an awesome yeah. time. I think you can tell from the scores that we've given that these guys have some great beer. Uh, and we have definitely enjoyed uh, our flight and, and definitely have enjoyed our time here. Great facility. If you guys have a chance to come downtown Birmingham, you find yourself in downtown Birmingham, come by and check it out. Staff here is fantastic. Uh, and, and we've really enjoyed our time here. Yeah. I can't, can't say enough about, about the, the brewer here uh, and, and the beer that they have to offer. So, it's a cool place too. Yeah, well, we might be able to get a little BTS here. I don't know. What is? I don't know what BTS is. Behind, behind, behind the behind. scenes. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We will, yeah, so you'll definitely we'll, want to we'll check see us if, out if we can get that. some Instagram um, at uh, some pics of the place, uh, the owner, or not the owner, the uh, bartender was telling me about some, some cool um, parts of it, like some of the rafters that they use in here, the beams was reclaimed wood from some old uh, ships pulled out of the Mobile Bay. Um, so, so check us out online. Yeah, cool stuff like that. Yeah, and on all social media, we're Hopped Up BR. Um, so Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, you can check us out at those, uh, at that name. Uh, and yeah, let's end it. Yeah, just end it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Bye, y'all. Cheers, Cheers. mates. <laughs> <laughs>